All right, so this is Tontonia. We got some wheat fields. Uh, we've picked out the berries. We've got a rich iron deposit that we're absolutely crushing. We've got a stone deposit that we're getting a hold of. This is quality content, not that spreadsheet simulator stuff. Yeah, here we can... I mean, I just love... I oh. oh, this game is so cool. This game is so cool. Replant trees? Nah, man. I'm trying to destroy the environment, so I'm going to move this. Uh, we're moving our logging camp uh, down into this corner. Not that far away. We'll put it on the King's Road, and we're going to make this the highest priority. All right, and we are going to move our woodcutter's lodge down the King's Road the other direction. And that should, at the very least, keep us a little more sane. It's going to cut the trees behind all of this stuff. We just got to make sure it never actually gets to the berries. I saw a TikTok, a lot of tips, like a lot. One was make three fields, but use one per year. I'm using two, so don't really, I, I guess if you leave it fallow for two years, then the fertility is really high. But also, bro, get on my level of fertility. Okay, we've got crazy fertility here. Crazy. Barley. I can grow anything here, man. I can grow anything here. This is going to be really a farming settle. This, this, I'm in a great region. I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to keep it level with you. I'm in a fantastic region. Bloomeries are normally in this location that I'm about to put this in. Um, so this is all farmland. I want to use all of that as farmland. So if I was a bloomery, I'd go ahead and just put myself right next to the storehouse, right across from the market. And that's exactly where I'd want to be. Because I'm a bloomery, for crying out loud. You know? We're going to use these winter months to our advantage. We are going to build a bloomery. All right. And the bloomery. So no, the resources. No. The bandits have stolen five charcoal and 11 firewood. I'm going to freeze. Actually, I'm really just looking out for the bandits. I don't want them to freeze to death either. Right? They're people, too. There's a little bandit outlaw camp down here. They're people, too. All right. Actually, I want to put a... Um, I want to put a tavern here. Right across from the market seems like a great spot for it. I don't know why it's, like, snapping to this particular location. But we could just make it, like, a big rundown road in front of the tavern. I'll do that. We'll move it up to, like, right here, and then that's the tavern. Oh, yeah, get that tree. It fell down into the snow. All right. Powering through. Powering through. Watch out! Ah! God, that was death-defying. She just got that log out in time. Look at all the ox we have. Oh, yeah, I need another ox, dude. Place my order. Get me another ox, man. We need... We need all of the oxen we can get our hands on. Yeah, I know the plot of land needs to be big enough. That's why I don't like that I built these houses before I knew what was happening, because they don't have the plot of land. They're literally just the house. Where these have the plot of land, two of these three that we're building will have the plot of land. Tavern's looking sick. This is looking very organic. Also, we've surrounded our tavern with construction of houses. We're trying to encourage a healthy amount of alcoholism, which is definitely part of the point here. And I want the houses with the bonuses. So if I do this all the way into that corner, can I just get this to be... Wow, that's literally one house. That's crazy. Yeah, I guess that's just what we're going to end up doing. All right, housing district under construction. We only have one person in charge of construction, but that'll give us a lot of houses and we never really have to worry about it again, which is nice. Not never have to worry about it again, but we'll have, you know, we've got nothing else we really could be building right now. Dude, my band, the bandits store 12 ore and four berries. These guys suck. These guys suck. I do have one burgage plot. I guess we could start making uh, weapons of some kind. If we're gonna have a unit of spearmen, we need large shields and spears. Where's your manor? Uh, I don't have one yet. Am I supposed to have one? Already? Uh, uh maybe. 
20 planks, 15 stone, five, uh, five logs. It's in the title, bro. That's a, that's a pretty, hard to argue with that, honestly. It is in the title. Put the manor where you're going to build the stadium. Oh, true, 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 true. What if we put the manor up here in the corner? Nice little defensible. That is just a sick little spot, too. It's a little, it's a, it's a nasty little spot. Just out of town, kind of away from everything. Up against the border of the entire map. Like, you know, I'm not getting flanked over here. I mean, this, this thing looks like it's going to double as a castle. So let's just, ch I mean, but what are these lines? What are these red lines? I have no idea what these mean. Yeah, you want to walk around the town? Let's do it. My oxen! Yo, what's up, Fritz? How y'all doing? How's it? How's it popping? Okay, yep. Looking good. Hello to you, too. We make a football stadium in Manor Lords? Right, that's what we were doing. You know what? I'm just going to assume these red lines aren't a problem, and I'm going to build my manor over here like a giant elitist pig that I am. Um, and then there's, like, this circle that pops up, and I'm assuming if nothing's in the circle, then I'm fine. So we're going to build the manor. What else do we have? We've got walls and gates. We've got an outer tower. Uh, we've got garrison tower. Increases maximum retinue size by 12. I'm sorry, there are retinues in this game? And a tax office, which is cosmetic right now. Okay, so I want a retinue. We're gonna go with that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna build a a ret a garrison tower for my lovely retinue. And we're gonna commit. That's 35 planks, 15 logs, 25 stone. It's a long-term construction project. Okay, and we're going to build it off the King's Road right here. Do want the road. The road into my manor's got to be at least relatively straight. Guys, come on. Let's get it together here. So a manor and a retinue tower or whatever it's called. That looks pretty cool. I got, uh, another rule. Oh, no, hey, 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 hey. Whoa, man. Yo, bro. Bro. Oh, the light mercenary. Okay, they going to, they're going to go fight the bandits. That's what they're doing. Uh, see those dudes they got metal helmets and stuff that's that's not fun we don't like that they've got spears and shields and helmets and uh not a fan okay um the flock of crazy geese where are they going i'm just on the move i guess okay um my number one need though is i need shields I need to start the production of shields, and the only way to do that is greater food variety, apparently, for these, for for this area right here. The, the This dude right here, or this dude right here, I don't have enough food supply in the marketplace, apparently. I don't understand how you don't have access to a food stall, like to two food stalls, all right? I've got two food stalls, brother. They exist. I know because all these other little burgage plots are, are on that level. All right, another army's on the move. Could be a glitch. No, I, I doubt it. I know nothing about how to play this game, so I'm sure that it's not. I just don't understand. I'm gonna. Can I do something reckless? Are you ready? I'm going to do something that might be a little crazy, but it also might just be crazy enough to work. You're moving. Everybody's moving. Everybody's moving. You're all moving. You need to find a new house. Uh, there are exposed shields and spears. Somebody go grab those, please. I want to put a house here. Thank you. Go move your logs and shields and spears, brother. You're moving into a new house. We've got other houses. We've got good other houses. That's where you're moving. Go move. Pick your shields and spears up and move. Like, it's just crazy. Yeah, let's go. You're right. This one is ready to go. Okay. Excellent eye, dude. Check again. Thank you. Because I knew these were good, but I wasn't sure. All right. So do we get all of the... No, there's still a shield there and a spear there. It's like you guys don't even care. All right. Come on. Hustle. Thank you. Move the spear. Move the... Wait, who's coming to get the shield? Somebody's coming to get the shield. After that burgage plot, which is also going to be an awesome one right next to the... It's totally proximity to the market. 
The closer you are to the market, the better access you have to the food stalls or something. I don't know. I swear to you, once I have 30 well-supplied men with shields and spears, we will go after the bandits. I need 30, which means I need 10 shields. The ruler's army was sighted. Yo, oh, no, where are they going, dude? They're rolling up on, uh, they're rolling up on me. What's this? Wait, did they just kill the bandits and leave? That's totally what they're doing. They're just killing the bandits and leaving. What's the point of that? They've killed all the bandits. But they didn't, like... Can you destroy the camp? Or do they, they just kind of left it? Why are there... Who's hunting the wild animals? Stop! Why are the wild animals dying? You already have an army? I know I already have an army. I'm just... I need... Large, what are they? Two planks? See, but a small shield is one plank. So I'm thinking that we shift our production to that because that's what that would require. This needs 36 small shields and 36 sidearms. feel like that's what I need. That's cheaper. But they might also be worse. Like, are spearmen better because they have big shields and they've got spears? I like big shields and I cannot lie. Like, I don't know. Alrighty. Manor construction. Exciting. Do I want to go... I mean, it doesn't look like there's anybody here. So I'm just going to go... Wait, but there is an army. Where are they going? That way? Okay. You guys ready to get crunk? I don't know where these bandits are, but I'm pretty sure... Because that army took some damage... Pretty sure they just walked down and did that, so I kind of want to see how this works. You ready? Let's get it. We're rallying in the fields of Pelennor! If, if all my guys die, I'm going to be so mad. All right. The 20 men that have uh, spears and shields accessible to them are suiting up. Oh, here they come. We got the boys from down the block sprinting in. Onward, gentlemen! To glory! Huzzah! Alright, so my guys are off on the move. I'm assuming if there were... Unless there's, like, ambushes in this game, I'm assuming I would see a thing. That or all my guys are about to die. But it did feel like we needed to do something. They claimed some land. We need to get out there into the field. We need to... We need to test the metal of our settlers of Tontonia. See what they're all about. See what kind of business they got. Oh, wait. And while they're walking through those woods, I'm assuming I'm going to get some sort of very loud notification if we, like, start to die. This is all... Can I walk next to them? Yes! Yo, that's so cool! Onward, men! To glory! To whatever the heck we are attempting to accomplish here. Do you see that bandit camp there forth? On this day, they will rue the day that they crawled into our borderlands, gentlemen. We will make them beg for mercy, and they will receive none from this manor in a floppy hat. For I am wearing... Whatever. It's fashion! Stop making fun of me. Forward. You're damn right, forward. Oh, hell yeah, brother! When searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. They could, uh, be sent to your people, or I could take them. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, it's mine, but there you go, 196 gold in the treasury, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so these empty bandit camps are just friggin' free money, basically. All right, so these dudes are walking away. Well, then let's just go to the other bandit camp, man. There's like three of these things. There's like four of these things, dude. We don't have to, uh, you know, we don't have to pick up all of this. Not, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my guys killed for sure. 
Well, let's just walk over to that bandit camp. I don't think we're hurting our production uh, too much. I mean, we only got 20 dudes out here. Oh, the bandits are here. Oh, is that what you were saying? I needed to rush here to fight the bandits because they're about to fight the bandits? Why? Don't I want to just let them kill the bandits and then... What if that's how I gain King's favor or something? But why would I gain King's favor from actually destroying the bandit camp? Killing bandits gives influence. Okay, that seems important because then I can like claim new territories. But I'm also never going to beat them to those guys, so hopefully... Hopefully another bandit camp just spawns in, right? I'm going and I'm clearing out all these bandit camps and another bandit camp spawns in. We will outfit the troops and we will fight them. Do the number of oxen I have is definitely like... Wow, that was really intuitive. Definitely the move. We can move all the logs we want. Who's... Is somebody hurt? Oh, that's morale. Why is our morale low? Surrounded by trees. <gasps> our settlement level increased! I got a new development point. Uh, trade logistics, fertilization, can turn a fallow field into a pasture. Joke's on you, I don't own any sheep. Bakeries, produce bread from flour with twice the efficiency of a communal oven. Oh, that's interesting. That sounds really neat. But what I wanted to do was the deep mining because I have a rich iron ore deposit. But I think with twice the efficiency that like doubles the amount of bread that we have right i'm assuming that's what it means that's really good considering i am based on farming i'm gonna go with the bakery man i think we need a bakery and i'm gonna make this the bakery all right where uh, yeah is that what i want to make the bakery is this guy with the chicken coop yeah, I'll put like a chicken coop over here, I guess. Um, bakery, I need five. Okay, I've got enough. We'll put a chicken coop over here. You know, we need a chicken coop. You got to have a chicken coop. This is going to be a bakery. All right, so that turns those people into artisans, but it also allows us to bake stuff. Woo! Dude, like this isn't cobbled together haphazardly. We've got like an extra road here to the... <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. Like it's... But that's good. I think it looks na it looks like a normal medieval village instead of like some sort of perfect city builder pro guild setup or something. Dang it, I'm not mining any clay. Oh, I did. I actually should be mining clay. I have no reason not to be mining the clay. I've got the guys. Well, I mean, not all of the guys. All right. Good walk, dude. You guys have been walking for a month. Uh, okay, we want to try one of each. So send the resources to the nearest town. I gained... Okay. I gained an absolute metric ton of regional wealth. The final grand introduction. So I made like 300 regional wealth from that. But you know what? I think the gold's going to matter more. There's things like retinues in this game. I absolutely want to have a beefy retinue. I want to have some excellent fighters. Can you say if Slavic Magic is the only one that worked on this game? I mean, I think so. I don't know. I wasn't in the room. This belongs to me now. All right, you're coming home. Find the road. Assuming uh, there's a disband button. Yes, there is. All right, when another bandit camp is founded, somebody needs to shoot off a flare. Because I am going to march in there with my spearmen and hopefully my retinues as long as we can finish this freaking manor by the time we get there. And I am going to crush them. Oh, that's a sick looking manor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, 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 we are building the tower. Okay. All right. Oh, we're building the garrison tower. I'm about to have a retinue, apparently, which is sick. There you go. There you go. Put the planks. Oh, wait. Is my army back? Uh, yes. Hey, man. Great work. Dude, we got 34 guys now. All right, they can get back to work now. They'll take the King's Road back in, put their spears away. We almost have a full unit of, uh, of spearmen, which is pretty cool. Oh, do I need to buy goats? Oh, my God. Have I had this goat thing the entire time and I need to buy goats? I totally need to buy goats, don't I? Oh my god, there's a livestock trading post. Oh, that's so embarrassing. All right. I need to buy goats. My bad. My bad. So the goats and the uh, the chickens are there. Oh. Ooh. 
Construction completed on the manor? Click on the taxes tab after selecting your manor to set a level of taxation. Taxes can boost your treasury and influence the cost of making your population poorer. I mean, I'm all for it. Um, new retinue assembled. Okay, people. I have two servants. All right. And land tax and a tithe. Percentage of surplus food that's given to the church for influence. 5% I need influence. Um, and the land tax, this is collected from our regional wealth. I can collect a 10% land tax to increase my own wealth. I actually don't feel like I need to do that. Let's see what I can spend money on. Retinue customization. Yo, dude. We have Thomas goes into a frenzy when he fights. We have Earhart secretly in love with his lord. Hey, whoa, brother. Whoa. Hey, why? Hey, secretly in love with his lord's daughter. All right, man. We have Conrad claims to have prophetic dreams. Also has a giant axe. Upgrade armor. We can import. Um the the armor here well i i have oh i have that in my treasury that's nice well i want i don't want to spend it yet see what else we can do we have deets who's a fan of riddles and puzzles and also is a wielder of a big axe we can change his weapon well, i guess okay so we can't really change like well, that's what he was rocking um we can't really change what type of guy he is uh, oh, he's rocking a hammer. Tallman charms every woman he meets. All right. Um, so these guys look like legit fighters. We've got... Wait, I can, I can just recruit more of them? Oh, yeah, dude. <sighs> Expertise, work in progress. I guess they can, like, level up the more they fight, too. This is so cool. Recruit mini ministerials. This is locked in early access. Okay. Uh, well, then let's just spend our money to uh, recruit men at arms then, shall we? Six. I can get up to 24. I don't think I have the money for that, but we did just bring in Friedlin, whose pants are a little too tight. All right, Friedlin. Way to get after it. We've got Lawrence, who can speak several languages fluently. Love it, Lawrence. Love it. We've got Earhart, who recites his verses before and after a fight. His shield's a little piddly. Let's try something a little more significant out there, man. Actually, you know, I'm sorry. Nobody's going into battle with something looking that stupid, Earhart. Uh, all right, we have... I might as well, we're we're going to get 12 incredibly skilled fighters. Strong, talented brave men to defend the manor and the realm if you click on Tantonia, there's more options and hey all right okay um locked in early access okay nothing in production so yeah this is just pretty early access we can do strict fasting or wild animals and rich deposits breed twice as fast the cost of 50 percent reduced yield from crops uh, no, we'll do strict fasting. Decreases approval, but reduces food consumption. That sounds like a pretty sick policy. All right. I want eight people coming up here to harvest the wheat. This is the highest priority. This is a high priority, but we want to get the wheat done first. There you go, buddy. Get in there. Come on. The survival of the village depends on how quickly we can harvest this wheat. There we go. I need the wheat. Oh, you know what I do need? Oops. Um, not oops. It's not that bad. The fate of the world depends on it, but it's not that bad. Uh, we need a brewery extension. That needs to start its construction right now. Oh, and I've got roof tiles. Let's go. We're going to level up that church, baby. Give me a stone church. That's what's up.
We'll go no barley. I got a ton of barley out of that last one. Whoa, what is happening? What is hap- I am the greatest lord alive! I just magically plowed 53% of a field. Ox visual glitch. <laughs> and the ox is back. Let's go, ox! Da -da 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 -da. Alright, so we're plowing three fields. We're gonna plant some flax up here next to our iron mine. We're gonna plant some wheat down here. And we're gonna plant some wheat up here. We're going no barley this year. Uh, definitely need more wheat in the field for next year. So we need to get this plowed and planted before the ground freezes. So this is where a lot of our families are occupied with, with this stuff. And the ruler army was- wait, where, 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 where? No, 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 God, please, God, no. Wait! It's a bandit camp! It's so far away. We're going for it. I'm in the middle of planting season. Do I dare? Do I dare take all of the men away during planting season? That would only leave 27 people here. It's planting season. Yeah, we're stuck if we don't do it, though. We have to go. We're stuck if we don't do it. I, we know we're stuck if we don't do it. They're, his army's over here. They're gonna try and march and crush the bandits. We are gonna try and march and crush uh, the bandits as well. Why could they not have spawned in one of those two? Yeah, they're planting the wheat. Okay, how long is it gonna take us to plant here? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, we need to get this stuff down before the winter and I don't know when it freezes. We gotta sound the drums. We gotta call up the men. It's gonna be, it's gonna be annoying, but... Raise the retinues! Raise the men! For glory and victory! It's planting season. The women can plant, I think. They'll be fine. Yeah, they're doing a great job. The planting's going really quickly. Look at that. They're sowing like crazy. Are you ready for Tontonia to go to war for the first time? To battle? Some of you may die, but that is a chance I am willing to take for renown or whatever I'm attempting to compete for here. Alright, I'm thinking too deep right there. I want... Alright, we're gonna do a two-man block of the spears. All right. We're gonna roll- we're gonna roll deep. We're gonna roll deep with the spears, and we're gonna hold the flank with the retinue. Our strongest troops are gonna come in on the back, and we are going to hopefully catch, like, a charge or something on our spears. On the tips of our spears. Alright, the brigands are charging! Come on, men! And we will close in upon them with the retinue. Oh yeah! Bad day to be a brigand, if I was an expert. Yeah! Let's go! Alright, you guys run home. Kinda need ya. Um, definitely could have just sent my retinue to crush these guys, but we'll go ahead and clear out the camp. Did not give me enough influence to claim a new province, but you know, we did what we could. You know, we did do what we could. We- we vanquished our foes! We didn't lose a man! <laughs> Victory and glory! Oh, wow, we finished the small stone church? Dude, I wasn't even trying. That's, uh, nice work. We've upgraded our church. 
There are... There are seven starving families. All right, so what I am discovering now is that our bakery is not fast enough. I don't think there's any other way for me to kind of, uh, like, quickly get food either. Because we're, we're consuming bread faster than we're able to make it right now. We do have 31 flour. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rush a commune 11 and then just... Well, but no, I can't. If I do that, I'm just going to start wasting the flour. We're not going to be able to make it into next year. I mean, how the hell am I going to make it through the winter? We don't have any, It's freaking November. We don't have any food. You know what I mean? Wait, I need... Um, I'm going to do that anyways. Because it's very clear that what we're doing right now isn't going to work. So I'm going to build a commune 11 where it was before. I'm going to rush it. Um, you know, get all of, the, all of our resources coming to bear here. With the ale, so we have 87 barley. That gets turned into malt, which we have none of because it's instantly being brewed. Cool. We're going to die, but we will die drunk. We're going to die, but we will die drunk. You know what? We're actually kind of living here. I am leaning really hard on the wild animals. We're hunting them all the way down to two. And will that allow us to survive? Yes, there are no hungry houses, which is kind of amazing. How the... Where, I have five families in charge of construction. Nobody thought it was a good idea to bring a log up here for this communal oven thing. Seriously? I want a communal oven. Oh, a new family moved in! Oh, that's freaking great! That's awesome! Electric. Love it. All right, what can we sell? I can sell wood stuff. We can just sell wood stuff. I, I can't sell anything else. We are hanging on the edge. The communal oven is not as efficient, but the bakery is not fast enough, as we have learned. It tis not fast enough. 